Well, hi there, everybody, and good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski, starting off on this Friday morning, just a little bit after 7 o'clock. Now, I'll tell you right now, future cast over done with the thunderstorms in southeast Nebraska. In fact, I'll take you back to our radar as of this time. Things have cleared out. In fact, we've got a little partial clearing here in central Nebraska this morning. Next disturbance, you can see it off to the west out there in Wyoming. There is some precipitation out there to the to our west, west of Nebraska and South Dakota right now. And that might bring some precipitation later today. Now, there is a chance of maybe a couple of hit or miss showers or weak thunderstorms late this afternoon, during the afternoon hours, especially late in the afternoon. And I think cloud cover will thicken back up. So if you see any sun this morning, that will be replaced by clouds later today. There is a chance of rain and thunderstorms tonight, but it does not look to be nearly he as heavy or as widespread as previously expected. This is great news for us. Now, I'm not going to rule out maybe a thunderstorm that dumps out a decent amount of rain somewhere, but it should be a little more hit or miss than what was previously expected. So our rain chance is looking lower. Hopefully, this is not going to enhance the flooding situation. Last night, most of us missed out. There were a few places that saw some nasty weather in far south central Nebraska, north central Kansas, and then back to the southwest where we had a few tornadoes last night. But tonight, no threat of severe weather. Uh, hopefully not a lot of heavy rainfall out there as well. We just don't need any more rain. We'll keep a chance of showers going during the day tomorrow as we get into tomorrow morning there. Uh, best chances in the east. Not much thunder. Not much lightning. That's good news for Husker fans paying attention to, of course, the Husker football game tomorrow. Less of a chance in the afternoon, but the clouds will stick around, so it's going to be another cool day out there for tomorrow. Might even be a little drizzly at times. Would not rule that out. And then as we get towards Saturday night, I think the clouds will stick around, and some fog might be a possibility as well Saturday night into Sunday morning. So looking at your state fair forecast, day number eight, only a four days left out there. Going to be a cooler day today with mostly cloudy skies, temperatures climbing into the 60s to near 70 later today. And again, I think anytime after about 2 o'clock, there's a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms this afternoon. Maybe a little better chance to see me at 8 o'clock of seeing a hit or miss shower or weak thunderstorm. But again, not really anticipating a severe thunderstorm threat. We'll see a cool day today, upper 60s and low to mid 70s for highs, warmest in the east and back towards the west. Tonight, then dropping back into the 50s and 60s for lows pretty similar to this morning. Tomorrow's temperatures, once again, a cooler day for most of us with low and mid-70s. I would not be surprised to see some places stuck in the 60s with the clouds around. But notice a little warmer out west, and we're going to trend warmer as we head into your Sunday. Some early clouds and fog giving way to sunshine later in the day. We're going to warm it up into the low and mid-80s. Some upper 70s out there, but notice the 90s out west. That heat's going to push eastward for your Monday Labor Day holiday. So with more sunshine expected too. So here again, those next three days, a cooler couple of days today and tomorrow, chance of rain later today and tonight. Maybe still a few showers around tomorrow, but mostly a light rain. Fog possible again Saturday night and a Sunday morning, then clearing skies through the day on Sunday, getting us up to around 80. More sunshine on your Labor Day, I keep wanting to say Memorial Day, Labor Day Monday. And a little breezy as well, a little more heat. That's the hottest day of the forecast. A cold front looks like it's going to come through early on Tuesday morning, and that will drop us off a little bit Tuesday. We may even actually see an earlier day high Tuesday. And then temperatures look to stay on the uh, slightly below average side of things Wednesday and Thursday. But one of the key things of the seven-day forecast, dry conditions September 1st all the way through at least the 5th. A nice stretch. We have not had a stretch that long in our 7-day forecast where we've had a dry forecast the entire way through. So just got to get through these next couple of days, but the good news is it does not look like the widespread heavy rainfall that we were anticipating maybe a day or two ago. It should not be quite like that, although can't rule out maybe an isolated area that might pick up on a quick heavy rain shower. One thing we'll wrap it up with here is the game day forecast for the Huskers tomorrow at 11 a.m. kickoff at Memorial Stadium between South Alabama, the Jaguars, or the Jaguars, or whatever you want to call them, against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. 8 o'clock for those early tailgaters. Could be a few showers around, mostly some light rain, maybe a little bit of moderate rain. If it's not raining, maybe a little drizzle, light fog, not out of the question. At kickoff, about a 30% chance of rain, a 20% chance at the end of the game. So while, yeah, a few showers are still possible, probably not going to see a whole lot of rain. And I'm not expecting much for any kind of a lightning threat. So that that's really what delayed the game last year. I don't think we'll see that this year. So uh, should keep the game going just fine. A little rain's not going to hurt anything. So, All right, with that, I'm going to let you all go. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, on Monday, I'll be back working on Labor Day. Until then, have a good one. Enjoy your long weekend. Bye.